cultural icons, and legends in their professions. Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, Houdini, Elvis, and John Wayne need no introduction. Harry Houdini writes ahead to the manager of a Cincinnati theater to ensure that the police officers necessary to secure the straitjacket before his inevitable escape have been arranged. The historic baseball, signed by all-stars of the American and National Leagues, most prominently Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig, was handed down through generations of a Cincinnati family. Tuck away your treasures in John Wayne's personal travel trunk. Originally sold at auction by John Wayne Enterprises, the vintage piece includes a label with the all-American football star turned Hollywood celebrity's personal address and stickers of his many travels and adventures. Signed in 1932 by Ty Cobb, this personal check is a reminder of the success Cobb found in professional baseball. Imagine sitting next to Elvis on your next flight to New York. This lucky passenger must have. The transcendent film star and king of rock and roll was kind enough to sign their ticket. Temple vases in various forms and materials have been used in China as early as the Bronze Age. The bowls carried sacrificial food and drink to be placed at the altar during ceremonial rites and festivities. The dough form vessel we are featuring bears the six character mark incised at the inner rim indicating it was made during the reign of the Emperor Quan Tzu from 1875 to 1908. The lidded bowl rises from a flared stem with bands of archaistic detailing and crisp relief and an egg yolk yellow glaze both to the interior and exterior of the vessel. A Christie's auction sticker remains affixed to the base and is dated 1979. Pablo Picasso began with the Medora Ceramics Workshop in the fall of 1947 after he was commissioned by the owners to model a few clay pieces. His curiosity for the medium allowed him to explore its full potential, ultimately creating a substantial collection of both unique and additioned earthenware. In the post-war era, this medium was more accessible to all in a time where only the wealthy could afford his paintings. He began making these objects as functional pieces that he used in his own home and gifted to friends. During Picasso's time at Medora, he created over 3,500 forms in clay, including vessels, dishes, figural, and sculptural pieces. His work here celebrates the imaginary world where anthropomorphic and zoomorphic forms are among the central motifs of his ceramic works. The glazing of this earthenware pitcher is a great representation of the whimsical imagery that has attracted collectors for years. Anna Mary Robertson Moses, more commonly known as the renowned American folk artist Grandma Moses, did not begin her art career until age 78 as she worked as a live-in housekeeper and operated her family farm for much of her life. As exemplified in this painting, titled The Sycamore Farm, painted in 1944, many of her landscapes feature nostalgic rural life, including farm activities, holiday gatherings, and seasonal themes often rendered from an elevated perspective. This particular farm she painted multiple times, exhibiting the subject at different times of the year as she did with many of her subjects. The Sycamore Farm is executed in Moses' signature style, exhibiting schematic perspective a flat application of a rather primal palette, but also rendered with precise brushstrokes. The painting was previously exhibited at the Minneapolis Institute of Arts and was housed in the collection of the Galerie Saint-Étienne in New York.